Hey guys, welcome back to episode 14. Today I'm going to finish up serialization and then I'm going to um, quickly show you how to save it and load it and then uh, using the script that we created in episode 13 and then I'm going to uh, set up a scene so that we can work on start working on player movement. Uh, so the first thing uh, so the first thing I wanted to show you is I'm in uh, Mono Develop right now but I'm still in our same project and what I did is I went to our uh, items class and I opened up our base item our base equipment and our base stat item uh, scripts and I opened them up in mono develop and what I wanted to show you is the way you can serialize an object and this is what I didn't cover last time is you need to add this serializable uh, tag to it I don't I actually don't know what this is called uh, it's tag is not the proper word but basically in brackets you write system dot serializable above the class itself so that tells uh, the compiler that it's that it's a it's able to serialize now you might run into some problems if you uh, start adding textures and stuff to your classes but um, which I'll probably cover I actually ran into that problem in another project where I had items I, item icons and I was storing I said each item has an icon uh, in its class and what a, and what it was is I couldn't serialize a texture. You can't tech. You can't serialize an image. So uh, if you guys run into that problem in your projects, I can create a video and show you guys how I solve that problem. But basically, what I wanted to get, what you need to do is go to your base item class and write system dot serializable. Go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go to our base stat item and I'm going to do the same thing. And basically, this just covers. Control S to save. This just makes it so that every item, or right now in this case, every equipment item, is serializable. So I can, uh, so when I, if say your character has twelve item, or let's see how many item slots do we have? Three, eight item slots. We and we want to save each of these. Then it's going to serialize it, serialize all this data into a large binary string and uh, store it in player prefs. Now I wanted to show you, so after doing that I wanted to show you, go to our save information script and I want to show you guys how to access this. So what you do is you go pp serialization or whatever you call the script, that's what I called it, and then you just do save. And what, what, and what I said last time is that we need a save tag, so I'll do let's say equipment, equipment item 1 and then you send it the object and in this case we're going to send it I'm just going to say object 1 for now. Object 1 isn't anything because it's uh, we need to have something in our game information script. So I'm going to control us to save. I'm going to go quickly go to our game information script. If I can find it. I think it's in saving and loading. Uh, where did I put it? Character base player. No. I don't remember. Oh, here. In, maybe in the game information folder would be a good spot to look. All right, so I'm going to open that up, and in here I'm going to create a public setter and getter, and it's going to be a base equipment item. And oh, I need to make it static, and then I'm going to set a. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to set. Uh, we're going to call it equip equipment one, and I'm going to set its setters and getters real quick. So I'm going to go get and set, and that's it. Okay, so now let's go back to our save information script, and I'm gonna go in. So instead of writing object one, I'm gonna go game information. Dot, and it's going to be our uh, equipment one. Okay, so now, let's see, hopefully we don't have any errors. Okay, so now when we actually save our information, assuming uh, this isn't null, so assuming that there's an object in here. Um, then it will save it to player prefs under the tag save tag equipment item one and it'll save this object as a binary string now what I like to do in in the uh, projects I work on is actually like to check first before I even attempt to save it so I say if game information dot uh, was it equipment one does not equal null then we'll save it so this, what this does is just it double checks to make sure that there's something there, and if there's not, then we won't throw any exceptions. We'll just skip it. Okay. So controls to save, 
And that's basically how load information works, or load information works basically the same way save information does. So we're again, we're creating if statement. We'll say if game information, or no, excuse me, we're gonna we'll check it. We'll say if player prefs player prefs dot get string, and the string key is equipment one. Was that? We'll say if that does not equal null, then we're gonna uh, go game information dot equipment one is equal to it. So copy that. I'm gonna just make sure I got the right tag. So I'm gonna copy that. Go back to our load information. Paste. Okay. Yeah. See, I had it wrong. Just fine. Controls to save. Go back to Uni. Oh, this is why I messed up. <laughs> PP serialization. It's an object, so I was converting it to a string, and you, or you can't do that. So you got to go uh, load. We got to use the script that we wrote last time. That would help. And we just need the tag, so we'll copy and paste it. And then colon, semicolon. So controls to save, go back to Unity. We shouldn't have it. We do have an error. Cannot convert type. We have to type cast it. So basically, it's converting it and we're getting it back out, but it doesn't know what exactly to convert it to. So we need to use a type cast. And a type cast basically just forces the compiler to force it to be this object. So, so just to review, we're checking to see if this uh, player press area equipment one has any items in it. If it does have an item in it, then we're going to actually load equipment one with a base I equipment item that's in this uh, storage area. And again, this part right here is a type cast, and basically, like I said, it forces the compiler to create that uh, variable or that type of uh, variable. So we're going to control to save. We shouldn't have any more. We might, hopefully not, and we don't. So that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show, I didn't finish last time, I wanted to show you guys uh, how to use the script that we wrote last time to quickly review on all your, on all the classes or objects that, classes that are will be objects that you want to uh, serialize and save. You need to have the system.serializable in square brackets above the class. And that goes for all of its, in, <clears throat> all the subclasses. So if it inherits, just do them all. And then in our save information and load information scripts, you just write you use you just call it since it's a stat since we create static functions, you can just do pp serialization dot load and send the game tag or pp serialization dot save and send a, a tag and an object. And that's it. So in the next video, I know this is pretty short, in the next video I'm going to create a scene. I'm gonna uh, and we're gonna start working on player movement. Uh, player movement will be super simple just for now because I don't have uh, any character rigs any character models rigged up or anything so I'm just going to be using basic uh, transform uh, transform movement functions like translate so I hope you guys like the video I hope you look forward to watching the rest of my videos please like subscribe comment and I'll see you next time